All right, guys, so here we are in the arsenal. In order to pull off this look specifically, you're going to need a few things. First of all, uh, I choose to go with the Ash Locust helmet because I think it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, when it comes to, you know, the Oni style, it definitely looks more uh, demonic slash, I don't know, it's scary. It's meant to kind of strike fear into your enemies so uh you could still go with the regular koga helmet or uh you know i don't know if you have something else that you think personally suits your style but i think this locust helmet looks absolutely incredible on the skin especially because i feel like it just fits the uh the, like the edgy edginess i guess but anyways that uh, locust helmet you're going to need the deluxe skin the ash koga skin which i think is fantastic uh in order to match this look I'm personally running the Necros Noble because I think it looks awesome. The attachments, uh, I only have on this specific uh, setup the Pakal chest plate, which looks absolutely awesome. And then getting into Cyandana's, I do have the Mosey Cyandana for this specific look right here, which I think looks fantastic with it. And then following that, uh, Regalia. I mean, you could throw on anything to make a you know, some, some extra colors or something on this uh, this loadout, but currently I don't have anything on there. And jumping into the colors themselves, we will start going through, uh, you know, the whole the whole setup. Um, actually, let's before we do that, we'll jump over. I'll point out the differences between the different, uh, different setups. Um, the Locust and Koga are the same. I went re with Revenant on this one because I think it looks pretty badass. He looks a little bit more uh, aggressive uh, in, in this this setup. Uh, in the attachments, I have the Kuva chest plate, which has this little armor deal right here. The Vitala shoulder plate and on both sides. And then also the Vitala ankle plates on both legs, which uh, gives it that look, which looks absolutely awesome in my opinion. And then... When it comes to the last setup, I basically am running the same thing. I'm running the uh, the, the Grenier piece that I just mentioned, the Revenant pieces. And then the only real difference um, is the Cyandana, which is the Noso Cyandana, which looks absolutely insane. And of course, the Titania animation, which makes him look really, really dope. Um, I don't know. This... This looks more angelic or to me, or I don't know. It looks really, really cool. Um, and then previously, I forgot to mention, uh, Cyandana is the same on this one as well. So um, getting into the colors themselves, we will go set up our colors. We will click on primary. Our primary color uh, I personally have right up here in the classic saturated and I have selected all the way down here P3. The next coloration is going to be also in the classic. That is going to be down here at L1. The tertiary is also going to be on the classic. I try to keep as many of these in the same palette as possible for you guys so you don't have to spend tons of platinum. That is at G3. Then the accents themselves is going to be in classic and that is going to be a two and then the emissives um this is kind of up to you i've kept this uh this really light uh blue color um you know the the, the ability to have two emissives is you know cool but anyways it's going to be also on the classic at h5 um if you don't have this emissive uh you'll have to do the uh the, the potato or forma however that works i forget uh, and then lastly the energy color Following up, same deal, H5. That's for this first look, this first loadout. Uh, looking absolutely baller, in my opinion. Um, this one is meant to be a little bit more uh, ninja, a little bit more oni, uh, but with like a blue look. I mean, you could definitely change it up and go with something dark and red and, you know, just make it, make it fit your personal taste. Um, oh, that gold. Oh, that just looks awesome. Um, but yeah, I went with... Uh, Ooh, you could even give him like a, I don't know, a shadow warrior, evil shadow warrior. I don't know, but looking absolutely awesome. Following that, this one a little bit more, uh, I don't know, I don't know, demonic and, and aggressive. So this one, primary, jumping in. This one is going to be on the fire palette. 
way down here at R4. Our secondary color is going to be Fire Palette as well, and that is going to be at L3. Then our tertiary color is going to also be in the Fire Palette, sitting here, N5. And then our accent color, accent color, Fire Palette, we're going to see 4. Emissives, once again, if you both have both emissives, there you go. I'm at H4 uh, for both, right, H4. Bam. Um, I'm, I, I did that just because, uh, you know, for you guys' personal ability to uh, to work with your emissives however you want. And then lastly, same deal, energy color H4. All right. And then moving on to our third and final loadout. Oh, my gosh. This thing looks insane. Jumping in, primary color. This is the Easter palette. So this is something you're going to have to uh, wait around till Easter to get. Um, you might be able to pull this off using multiple palettes um, but personally once you get the Easter palette this is going to be uh, the, the most effective way to do it um, I for whatever reason I really like this this greenish color um, you could maybe tack in like a, a white color if you if you really despise um, you know the the green hue to it you could go with the like a white and pink or a little bit of a gray or something like that but for whatever reason I like this or or we go a little bit tan let's see if we can get in like a like a tannish color that might fit your personal taste a little bit more um, maybe even in the Grenier palette Nah, not quite um, but anyways so first color setup we have sitting here at D3 is your primary your secondary is going to be down here at R2, then our tertiary is going to be R1, and our accent color down here, we're sitting at N1, and then emissives, all pretty much going to be the same, sitting down here at G3, and just to confirm, G3, and lastly, energy color, G3. Feel free to mix those up, like I said, energy colors, mix those up uh, however you see fit, but yeah, looking absolutely incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. Those are my three different uh, Oni Ash Prime, or well, Ash loadouts. Um, because it's the Koga skin, you can't really work with those Prime uh, accents and whatnot. So you don't have to worry about that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this Fashion Frame episode. And I will see you guys again in the next one. Blah!